Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, I am worried. Why? Because it's been more than three months without any kind of new information from Amazon Games or NCSoft regarding global release of Throne and Liberty. And if you think for one moment that I'm worried because we still don't have any kind of release date or maybe some kind of release frame, no, that's not the reason. I'm worried because of another reason, because of transparency, meaning of that word. Amazon Games or NCSoft, they are not sharing any kind of new information regarding global release of Throne and Liberty for three months. Why? Let's talk about this. Before we start, let me just say subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more of Throne and Liberty videos in the future. As you can see, I'm already here on official website of Throne and Liberty in Korea. And yes, Throne and Liberty was released in Korea on December 7, 2023. And if you think for one moment that game is not ready to be released, maybe that's the reason why developers and publishers are not announcing anything regarding global release of Throne and Liberty. No. You are wrong. Game is finished. And not only that, within the last few weeks, we have got this producer letter, part 7, officially from NCSoft, from producer of the game, where they have stated, let me show you here on the end of this letter, it's actually a pretty interesting letter with many interesting information about the game, check that video on my YouTube channel, but on the end of this letter, we have got officially confirmed that global version of the game will be the same exactly the same as Korean version of the game. Check this quote from developers of the game. I understand there is a talk that global version of TL is different from domestic version and that it provides the flat rate service overseas. I tell you that is not true at all. The domestic and global version are still the same and the business model is also the same. There are no plans to change this policy either. We have no plans at all, but even if we change it, the changes will be applied to both Korean and global versions, and we will officially notify you so that you can be aware of the contents faster than anyone else. So if you were thinking that maybe Amazon Games is adjusting the game, maybe they are changing business model, maybe they are changing some kind of pay to win in-game features, because here in the West, we don't like pay to win. I mean, over there in Korea also, players don't like pay to win, right? Nevertheless, maybe if you were thinking that Amazon Games is changing something regarding pay to win, that we Western players, we like the game more, absolutely not. Business model, in-game features, Korean version of the game, what we have currently in Korea, I'm playing in Korea basically since release, that's it. It will be same for global release. And I can tell you right away, game is ready to be released. Another reason why you might think maybe that Amazon Games is still not giving us any kind of new information regarding global release of Throne and Liberty would be maybe that uh, they are still working, for example, on English voice source. Okay, that could be one of the reasons. Game is big, game is massive, without any doubt. There is lots of different kind of voiceovers which needs to be done, right? Also, infrastructure regarding servers, hardware and software regarding servers, localization regarding prices in the cash shop for different countries. That could be the reason. Nevertheless, don't forget that originally this game, Throne and Liberty, was supposed to be released globally at the same time when in Korea. That was original plan two years ago. And now what is happening? We are a month and a half after Korean release of the game and three months since this. This is official Twitter account of Throne and Liberty for global release. And I can show here last previous tweet from October 18 and also an official website of Throne and Liberty last previous announcement from October 18, 2023. Three months without any kind of news. Now, like I said, I'm not worried that we still don't have a release date. Okay, it's fine. We might get a release date very soon. I'm not worried that we still didn't get any kind of beta test. There was technical test, but we still didn't get any kind of closed beta or open beta. I'm not worried about that. I'm worried because of one word. Transparency. Transparency. I mean, why Amazon Games is not sharing something? If they're having some kind of trouble, some kind of difficulty regarding releasing this game, or NCSoft even, right? They are developers of the game. They should announce clearly, honestly, well, look, we are having problems regarding this and that. We are still working on the game and we will release it in, I don't know, 2037, right? 
I mean, I'm joking here, right? That, I hope that won't happen. I mean, within last previous week, we have seen few articles over there in Korea. I have even uh, made a video about one of these articles from different kind of websites. These information from different kind of websites, they are not official. They are not legit, right? Only official and legit information are from Amazon Games, publisher of this game for global version of the game for North America, South America, Europe and Japan. Yes, sadly, I didn't see rest of the world here anywhere. Only North America, South America, Europe and Japan. That's it, right? And like I said, I have seen a few different articles uh, from different kind of journalists over there in, on Korean websites within the last few weeks, but there is no official information. Best assumption would be that we will get some kind of beta test in Q1 of 2024. That would be basically now. And that we will get a release of the game in the Q2, quarter two of 2024. Nevertheless, these are only guesses, assumptions. I can only assume, I can only assume. But like I said, don't forget that originally Throne and Liberty was supposed to be released globally at the same time when also in Korea. Korean release did happen. Where is global release? Now, what could be the reason why we are not getting any kind of new information? There could be a few different kind of reasons. Nevertheless, I think they are having some kind of difficulty with release of Throne and Liberty on PlayStation 5 and Xbox. Don't forget, Throne and Liberty is not a mobile game. This game is a real PC MMORPG, also available on consoles. Game is still not released on consoles or there in Korea, only on PC. But we have get official information that at the same time when we will get PlayStation 5 and Xbox release globally, it will also happen in Korea. I have assumption they are preparing uh, that release, global release, right, for PC and also PlayStation 5 and Xbox at the same time, and that is not easy. You need to get a different kind of permits, right? You need to have everything legit, legal. I'm guessing that could be the reason. But don't lose your hope. I can show you here, Throne and Liberty is already listed on Steam. You can add this game to your wish list. I have seen the other day uh, within different kind of social media, players were talking, players from Korea and also global players were talking that Throne and Liberty is not still even on Steam. Yes, it is. Throne and Liberty is here on Steam for a long time. You can add this game to your wish list. Release date coming soon. And like I said, I am worried. I am worried because we are not getting any kind of news. That is the only reason. Regarding game itself, you can check dedicated videos on my YouTube channel. Lots of guides regarding Throne and Liberty. Lots of gameplay videos. Game is amazing. Game is a work of art. This is one AAA quality MMORPG, real MMORPG, beautiful combat, amazing graphic design, lots of content to play, PvP-wise and PvE-wise, regarding different kind of dungeons, if you, are, if you like to play PvE, you will have lots of different kind of dungeons, solo dungeons, group dungeons, open world dungeons. If you like to play PvP, don't worry, there is lots of PvP in the game, guild versus guild content, during local and regional events you can do some pvp also first big massive siege will be available in throne and liberty imagine that thousands and thousands of players playing one big massive siege that will happen very soon check details on my youtube channel game itself overall looking as a product is absolutely amazing i'm not worried about that Game is really good. And regarding bots and regarding pay to win, yes, these would be main issues of this game. Nevertheless, not so much concerning. Bots, yes, NCSoft is doing everything what they can to ban lots of bot accounts. They are removing bots from the game. And regarding pay to win, it is what it is. This is free to play Eastern MMORPG game. What did you expect? Yes, pay to win is here as one of the in-game features implemented into the game. Never nevertheless, it's not hard pay to win. It's really not. Check dedicated video on my YouTube channel where I talk in details about pay to win, where I explain mechanics. It is pay to win, but it's bearable. It's bearable. Nevertheless, like I said, like one product, this game is something really, really good. So there is no problem regarding the game. For sure, they are not, they are probably adjusting the game. Of course, there are still many bugs to fix, uh, nothing too huge, many improvements regarding balance between weapons, many things which they can do in endgame, absolutely. And Amazon games, they need to tweak a little bit, of course, for global release of the game, some things in the game. Nevertheless, game itself is ready to be released. 
So that is for sure not the reason why are they, I don't know, silent that much. So please, Amazon Games, Antisoft, share with us some kind of information because three months without any kind of news regarding global release of Throne and Liberty, it's way too long time because of simple reason, transparency. You need to be transparent regarding your intentions about global release of Throne and Liberty. Other than that, game is great. No worries at all. So we need to be patient a little bit more, but like I said, I'm worried now. I'm worried now we are way too long, a month and a half after Korean release. I was thinking already in February we'll be able to play Throne and Liberty, but obviously that will not happen so soon. But uh, stay hyped, stay positive. Uh, I am positive. Also, absolutely, there, there are many reasons to be optimistic about this new upcoming PC MMORPG. Uh, visit me on Twitch. I am live streaming every evening about 6 p.m. Central European time. Visit me on Twitch to see some gameplay. If you have any kind of questions regarding the game, be free to ask during live stream. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel. I already have 122 videos about Throne and Liberty. And I am preparing 100 of new videos for global release of Throne and Liberty. I have so much interesting things to share with you regarding content of the game, regarding guides for new players. Check my YouTube channel. Make sure to subscribe stay positive stay hyped and next time i hope when you will see throne and liberty video on my youtube channel it will be video with good news for this evening just to let you know uh yeah yeah i'm absolutely worried at this point in time uh, let's see what will happen thank you for watching the video and subscribe to my youtube channel and follow me on twitch to see more of throne and liberty videos in the future see you soon